AAA estimates 34 million Americans are driving to their memorial destinations. That's 700,000 more than last year. And they're paying the lowest Memorial Day gas prices in 11 years. The national average is $2.32 a gallon. Last year it was $2.74. Whether by car, plane, or train, Americans won't have to travel far to find trouble. Thanks to crumbling infrastructure, and here's our transportation correspondent, Chris Van Cleve. As millions of Americans head out this holiday weekend, they'll be driving on roads that are not in very good shape. AAA estimates pothole damage alone costs drivers three billion a year. Nearly one in 10 bridges nationwide is structurally deficient, meaning while it is safe to use, the bridge is in a deteriorating state and must be regularly monitored, inspected, and maintained. Washington, D.C.'s iconic Memorial Bridge is literally crumbling and now undergoing emergency repairs. In Long Beach, California, this is called the diaper bridge because of the netting to keep chunks of concrete from falling onto traffic below. The American Society of Civil Engineers gave U.S. infrastructure a D plus. This problem is key to our quality of life. It's key to our economy. Secretary of Transportation, Anthony Fox. Why hasn't there been a will to fix things? Because people like groundbreakings, they like openings, but we haven't just taken on the aggressive uh, routine work of making sure the system stays as healthy as possible. Amtrak estimates it needs an additional $20 billion to restore its existing infrastructure in the Northeast to safely maintain its current service levels. 200 feet under Washington, D.C., the city's troubled metro system is leaking. Decades of temporary fixes has left the nation's second largest metro system falling apart. New general manager Paul Wiedefeld. Is what you're going through a harbinger of things to come for infrastructure across the I country? I would think so. What we're going through is we're at the point where we, we no longer can sort of just keep pushing this down into the future and pretend it's not there. The estimated cost to fix all of the U.S. infrastructure needs about one trillion dollars over the next decade. Jane, if those fixes don't happen, experts say expect traffic to get worse, the roads to get deadlier, and for it to take longer to get goods to market. All right, Chris Van Cleve, thank you.